What's going on guys, we are about to break down another exotic review that came out this season. Guys, I'm going to give you a little spoiler. This is the worst exotic to come out. Now, personally, I will give the devs respect because obviously they did try their best and thought about this idea and thought it would work. Now, I'm pretty sure they thought about it for PvP because it would make more sense in PvP because more likely to hit get hit with status effects in PvP and also you're likely to run away when you have manhunt so the speed will help you with that so but in pve this is where we're at so we're breaking it down in pve and this is the worst exotic to use in pve why because it doesn't work unless you jump over something and most of the time you're not getting hit with status effects against the ais unless you have special ammo on but when that directive is not in the rotation one week what do you have nothing except for jumping over so in class i will break down everything to you guys in full detail and why this build is going to carry this exotic even when the exotic is not used at all so let's go ahead and get into it What's going on guys? We're about to break down this build. Okay, I honestly got to say this is the worst exotic ever, but I'm gonna go ahead and break it down. I already told you guys that before, but I wanna make sure and show you guys why I put this build together. I personally think this is the most useful build for this exotic because of the, here's why. All right, first off the exotics talent, Volting grants 10% movement speed for three seconds. After not moving for five seconds, receive 20% movement speed for five seconds. Being applied a status effect grants 10% movement speed for five seconds. Now, here's why I said this won't work as well. PVP, it would more likely work in PVP because a lot of people use status effects in PVE or PVP over PVE because you're not always using special ammo and the special ammo directive is not always active. So not all the enemies will have status effects. So you see why it's more probably useful for PVP than PVE. But I'm gonna explain why this build works for PVE and why it synergizes well, well, quote unquote, as best as it could. So we're gonna head and talk about it, okay? Now, why does movement speed work so well with this build? Let's go ahead and explain the Lady Death. The Lady Death, all right, with its talent, breathe free. When moving, gain four stacks per second or eight stacks if sprinting. Max stacks is equal to the magazine size. Now, the point is what I'm trying to make is when moving, gain four stacks per second or eight stacks if sprinting. If you have faster movement speed, you are more likely to increase your Lady Death stacks and also get more damage. OK, so the more stacks you have, the more damage you put out for your Lady Death and why that works with the exotic. The new exotic knee pads is because it increases your movement speed when you vault. I will show you guys that and I have showed you guys some examples already, but I will show you guys some more after this with me in it. OK, now we're on to the Hunter's Fury gear set. Now, the Hunter's Fury gear set works perfectly because it gives us extra shotgun damage and extra SMG damage. Normally, I would say Sokolo for the SMG, but that only gives you 10 percent or a uh, zero F chest piece, for example, or Badger's Tough, because it gives you 10% shotgun damage. But we're going with the Hunter's Fury because it just works as well. And I'll explain why because of its talent. But we're going with two pieces, 15% shotgun damage, 15% SMD damage, and three pieces, armor on kill and health on kill. Okay, but its talent here is also beneficial. Why I said this is most useful for that exotic. Okay. Apex Predator, enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuff enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. Okay, as so you see why that's pretty useful as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that its backpack and its uh, chest piece has different talents, so I'm gonna break it down for you. Overwhelming Force increases the radius of the disorient on Apex Predator. So as you guys seen in the gameplay, and I will show you some more gameplay as along the way, but you guys see after I get a kill, after they're marked, 
the people around them literally usually fall to the ground because they're disoriented or confused. Okay. So this is what increases that radius. Then for the chess piece, it also benefits because it has endless hunger. Okay. Increases duration of apex predator stacks from 10 seconds to 30 seconds. Okay. And like I said, we went over the apex uh, talent. So these are the four pieces. We got the mask, we got the backpack, we got the chest piece, and then we got the gloves. I have critical hit chance and critical hit damage on most of my attributes. Um, just want to show you guys the attributes just so you can see it. Critical hit chance, critical hit damage. Uh, critical hit chance mod here, critical hit damage mod here, and critical hit chance mod here. Now this puts us our stats here at 59% and 122% critical hit damage. We want to go higher, so what I did, uh, cause I want to go higher on a critical hit damage. I put the orbit pistol on because it's talent, perfect finisher swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 35% critical hit chance. We don't really need the critical hit chance, but I really wanted the extra, uh, critical hit damage of 40%. So this is why I would say it would be useful. I wouldn't say you would be using the pistol all the time, especially when you're trying to finish off a kill, but it's just good for backup. All right, we're going with the Lady Death here, Munley. This is what you're mainly going to use because <laughs> if you want to use this exotic, it's mainly used for the Lady Death to make it better, okay? Um, and then obviously, like I said, in most of my builds, I will use the Picaro's Holster because it gives you both cores and also I'm rocking critical hit damage on it. Now, I'm using the decoy because also I would like, when they're disoriented, usually it doesn't last that long and I would like to have a decoy out for them to get distracted even longer so I can just focus on running around because with this build, you're going to be running around vaulting just to trigger the exotic knee pads. So you're going to be running around a lot. And since you're going to be running around a lot, you want to have a little bit of extra shield because we're only running around with 1.2 million armor. So I'm using the striker shield with five, with the firewall specialization and this gives me two tier two because we only have two blue cores here so that's why we have tier two so our shield is not that strong but since we have the hunter's fury set it's there to orient them and it's a lot easier to kill but you guys already seen it in the gameplay but i will show you guys some more um along the way target is near you agent All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like I said, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you guys are interested in Rogue Energy, make sure you go to RogueEnergy.com and use A-Kings 10 for a discount of 10%. What do they serve to you? All right, so they provide energy supplements at a healthy uh, alternative, okay? Using completely healthy ingredients, okay? We're talking amino acids and we're talking about a lot of vitamins. So make sure you guys check out. They got a lot of different flavors, different tubs. They even got shakers. So go ahead and check that out. And if you're interested, use A Kings 10 as the code for checkout. All right. See you guys in the next video.